Now we've been looking at the mechanics of the rear triangle. We've looked at the idea that of all the various triangles, it's the easiest one for short-legged people to lock up on big, broad-shouldered people. Now it's time for us to look at combat applications of the Ushiro Senkaku, how to use it in a jiu-jitsu sparring session or a competition match. The place I want to begin is from the back. There's so many ways we can use control of my opponent's back to go in and finish with strangleholds with our legs, Ushiro Senkaku in particular. Let's uh, have a look at a situation where we have our opponent in turtle position. Start here. I'll hand it over. this one. From a situation where we start off like so, we'd like to be able to enter into the Oshiro Senkaku. We're going to use a tight waist method. I take my arm around my training partner's waist, and we lock in a good tight waist. My hand goes on the floor, my knee props against his knee, and as a result, I'm able to break my opponent down to a hip, just like so. From this good position, it's not a difficult thing for us to go forward and snatch up our training partner's hand, gripping all four knuckles and locking in nice and close. My second hand posts on my training partner's wrist, and as a result, I'm able to put my knee in behind my training partner's tricep. And as a result, it's easy for us now to lock up on our training partner's arm. Once we get our opponent's arm locked up like so, it's not a difficult thing for us to put our second leg up and start an action of sitting back towards our training partner like this. From here, my hand goes across my training partner's head. We lift our training partner's hand and we feed the wrist in and lock everything close to our own chest like so. From here, as we sit back, we do what we always do. We get the lower legs lined up, unified legs. From here, we lock a trap triangle. From the trap triangle, we use a hand assist to bring everything north and lock up the full figure of four. Then we come back, arm over the wrist like so, and we go in and strangle for the finish. Once again, we'll start slightly different angle. From a turtle situation, we start off, knee up, tight waist in place, just like so. My hand goes to the floor, my knee wedges against his knee, and I move out to the side and I pull him right to the point where he's starting to lose his balance. Right at that point, I take my knee out. So he falls to a hip, but I'm still over him like so. I bring my head over his head and I snatch his hand like so. From here, my second hand goes over the top and pins his wrist. That becomes a base of support for me to pop up and place my knee in behind his elbow. I go around the corner and my foot kicks in like so. I place my second leg up and we sit down to the floor. We're in the perfect position now to bring our forearm over, lift his hand and go wrist to wrist. The veins of my wrist on the veins of his wrist. And as a result, two hands draw his legs, his arm back, and we turn our body out to the side. My two legs are unified, lower legs pointing in the same direction. Trap triangle, adjustment to the figure of four. And as a result, a very tight strangle hold. From another angle, we start off turtle position. Tight waist, everything in close, my knees in, we break him down to the mat. I secure one hand, then the other. From here, my knee penetrates behind his tricep, my leg goes around the corner, and we hook up on our training partner's arm. Now we're in the perfect position to sit back. I bring my arm over the head, wrist to wrist, we sit down, unified legs, then from here, trap triangle, Hand adjust to figure four. We lock up and strangle for the finish. This is an excellent and very practical example of attacking turtle position with Ushiro Senkaku.